Hi there, this is Masuran Gadimeng, student number 23-74-78-55 and this is my OPV assignment. Are you ready? One, two, three, let's go! OPV, one, two, two, celebrating your brain assignment. Hope you enjoy it! Part one and part two of the assignment. First thing we'll do is research through Google and Pinterest on the functions of the brain. Then we have to collect all our tools, stationary and recyclable material. Step 1. Draw an outline of a brain so you can have a guideline. Then cut it out into a smaller piece and paste it onto a board. Step 2. Label the brain with colorful sticky notes so you know what each section is. Step 3. Color code each section of the brain so it becomes visually pleasing. Step 4. Add beads onto your 2D brain to create a 3D visual of your model. Step 5. Use a black wall to outline the beads so they stay in order and maintain the shape of the brain. Drum roll, please. This is about the brain and let us learn all about the brain. First, we have the frontal lobe in red. It helps with planning, controlling and learning stuff. It is situated at the top front corner of the brain. The blue section on the top center is the parental lobe, which deals with touching, pain, and feeling the temperature. Right in the middle of the brain in green, we have the temporal lobe. It helps to recognize languages, sounds, and everything else. The purple section at the back of the brain is called the occupational lobe. It tells us what we see. It usually deals with our eyes. Right at the very bottom of the brain in pink is what we call the cerebrum. It helps us keep our balances, it helps with motion because it deals with all our muscles. That little green stem at the bottom is called the brain stem. And basically what it does is it keeps us all alive because it connects the brain to the rest of our bodies. assignment three things I've learned while doing this assignment so the first thing I've learned was that the brain is not as big as your whole entire head it's actually as big as your fist or two fists put together and that's really small <laughs> so that's the first thing I've learned the second thing that I've learned was I'm actually a great drawer because as I was doing this assignment I really was worrying about how I'm going to draw the brains and everything and when I actually attempted it I was pleasantly surprised with the outcomes and how well the drawings came out and lastly the assignment is not as easy as it looked because I thought it was going to be just a 
mega brain record but it required me to use a, a lot of different skills that i had firstly creative thinking on just how am i going to put this brain together secondly research skills find out how a brain looks like the different parts of the brain the names of it and what each brain like what functions of each brain is and lastly i had to use my digital skills on making this video and putting it together so it can look this pretty <laughs> questions I still have about the brain is firstly what part of our brain deals with your consciousness because I've always wondered where your consciousness comes from it's, it can't just be a spiritual thing it has to be something that's been governed by your brain and the second thing is about dreams so are dreams part of your brain like is it part of things that your brain makes up or is it just things that you see that your brain creates a story and you see it or replays it while you're sleeping? So those are the two very interesting questions I still have, even now, about the brain. <laughs> While doing this assignment, I had a very basic understanding of the brain. So that required me to do a little bit of building on my knowledge and my skills. And this happened through the means of firstly googling, researching about the brain, going through my textbooks and the lecture slides, and also asking some of my fellow students who were um, very knowledgeable or a bit more knowledgeable than me on the topic. I also had to experiment with different materials on how to make the brain to actually be successful with this project and that's how my mindset grew.